Yosemite's Dawn Wall, with its extremely blank face, is considered to be one of the hardest climbs in the world. This month, Tommy Caldwell and Kevin Jorgensen achieved what many considered impossible, becoming the first to successfully free climb the 3,000-foot wall. Tommy and Kevin join us now. First of all, guys, congratulations. Are you still riding on the high of having achieved this? Absolutely. Yeah. How does it feel? Like you're weightless. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty relieved and excited. Now, going into this climb, were you sort of like, we've got this, or were you worried? Oh, yeah, no, we didn't feel like we had it at all. It's been a huge process building up to it, and um, it, was, it was just a very daunting challenge. And were there ever moments in the climb when you thought, I'm not sure this is going to work out? At least for me, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I had to battle really hard to, to get up that wall, so <laughs> there were a lot of moments where I wasn't sure that it was going to happen. Wow. And, you know, the whole world was watching you guys. Were you aware of that, or did you try to put that out of your mind during the climb? Uh, we were somewhat aware because we look, could look down in El Cap Meadow and see a huge lineup of news trucks. but. Um, we tried to put that out of our mind because we knew we, we needed to be in the moment to really be able to complete the climb. So what goes through your head in the moment while you're climbing? Specifically, what are you thinking about? For me, it's all about what's the next move? Where does it, my foot need to go exactly? Where does my hand need to go exactly? Because any lapse in placement makes you fall. So you're entirely focused. You don't hit this sort of zone. There's a, it's like a flow state of movement mm -hmm. that's a zone, but for me, cognitively, it's, it's very in the moment of what am I hanging on to, where am I stepping, what's the next move. Right. And so then, of course, you know, we all saw you in those tents on the side. Were you, and you were, had social media, how did, did you have a signal up there? Like, how did you get all of that to work? Yeah, the best cell phone service in Yosemite <laughs> Valley is on the side of El Cap. Who knew? I knew. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> that was really fun. I mean, and so can you show us your hands, by the way? Because I am amazed. Look at those calluses. Look at those. They're kind of peeling like a snake, I think, for both of us right now. Yeah. Wow. Kind of the aftermath. Now, what's next? I mean, you guys have done what many thought was impossible. So what can you do after this? I mean, the, the Dawn Wall was a long-term dream and project. Tommy first saw it and imagined it in 2007 and I joined in early 2009 and you know it's been all we could think about ever since. So afterward uh, it's, hard, it's hard to say. When you first conceived of this did you think this is crazy or did you think this could be done? I mean for me it was kind of like a search for the holy grail. It seemed so improbable but something made me really want to really want to find out if it was possible. And what is training like for something like this? I mean, I've, I pretty much reformatted my life for the past six or seven years to try and prepare for this climb. So it was, it was a full-time thing. Incredible. Now, you know, at the end of last year, there was, we heard how some of these solo free climbers were dropped from sponsorships because the companies thought what they were doing was too risky. What do you guys think about that? I mean, that company was one of my sponsors, actually, and the type of climbing we were doing is not as risky as what they, they were dropped for. Right? We, because you were together. Yeah, because we're together and we're using ropes and the wall is very sheer and so we were able to minimize the risk. We, we, I want to live to be an old man. Right, right. So you <laughs> never felt like your life was in danger? There are certain, certain dangers that are hard to control up there. Right. But compared to a lot of other types of rock climbing, we were quite safe. You were quite safe. And you did have, like you said, ropes. What were the ropes used for? Just to catch us when we fell. Did you which, fall? Which we did a lot. You did. Yeah. So it was a good thing you had the <laughs> yeah. ropes. We're glad you had the ropes. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us today. We're all just in awe of what you've achieved. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. guys.